free chicken for your vote. Free chicken for your vote. Joe Biden will buy your vote for free chicken today. All you got to do is show up. Bring your own hot sauce. Yo, yo, I'm triggered. I'm triggered. Joe Biden done triggered me. He done triggered me with some fried chicken. He done triggered me with fried chicken. Joe Biden. Oh, my God. I, I need my safe place. I need my safe place to go. I need my safe place because I'm literally having a mental disorder right now because I'm triggered. So Joe Biden is in North Carolina pandering to black folks and he's in Raleigh pandering to black folks for votes. And what do you do? How do you get the black vote? Well, you give them some fried chicken and you bring the president to your house. Yeah. That's that's a that's a normal thing to do. Let's let's have the president come to our house so we can sit around and hold hands, kumbaya, and eat some fried chicken. That's how you're gonna get the black vote. How many black votes do you think he's gonna get with this here commercial? Oh my god, I am really triggered. Hello, friends, and welcome to The Conservative Poet. I am Amanya, and I want to say thank you to all of the new subscribers. We got a whole lot of people that hit that subscribe button, and I want to say thank you for doing that because I will surely work hard to entertain you, to bring you information, and just to be the fighter out here in the streets for you. So Thank you for subscribing. God bless you and God keep you. So I feel like I'm getting ahead of myself. I'm too excited about all this. I'm too excited to get it out because again, I'm, I'm triggered. So Joe Biden and crew went and visited a black family, a, a father and his two boys. Couldn't help but notice that there was no woman. There was, there was no woman. And I, they have a, a, a scene in the, in the video where, you know, there's a wall of pictures and I'm, looking for the woman. I'm looking for the wife. I'm, I'm wondering if she, you know, maybe she passed on. I don't know. I'm just, I was curious, but any event it's just father. So Joe Biden went to Riley to meet with a black family, a male and his two sons. Again, there was no woman in the, in, involved. So he's there, he goes and he buys them chicken. He buys them lunch at some famous chicken chicken place and so and the guy in the thank you mr president thank you for, for here's your lunch thank you mr president and so now they take it to the man's house with his sons and uh so now joe biden everybody sitting around everybody eating their chicken great shots of the chicken them piling on the ketchup piling on with the french fries and i mean it's just yeah here you are with the president right the president i'm gonna arrows president the president the pre not just arrows i'm not just the, the president you deal with the president the president and so now they're they're talking about um him and his life and his sons and all of this and 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 he's talking about how you know he was so so grateful i was just so grateful mr president that you did this here loan student loan of forgiveness yeah i saved a whole bunch of money and then it, it kind of, well, boys, you know, you're, you're going to save money too. We're going to, we're going to make sure you go to college and you're, you're not going to pay. And I'm just like, wow, wow. This is how they get the black vote because every black Democrat is probably sitting around saying, yeah, man, they went to their house. I wish he'd come to my house. I wish he'd come to my house. Yeah. We, we, we'd host you president Biden. We host you. We host you to our house. I mean, it was super cringe and we're going to get into it. I'm going to react to it. Uh, but I had to just kind of give a little bit of a groundwork about this, about all this and how I really do feel, because this is some nonsense. This is all it takes to get the black vote. That's all it takes. You know what I didn't see on there? I didn't see the hot sauce. I didn't see the hot sauce. Hello, fellow patriots. Thank you so much for your support. And again, you can do so by purchasing products from the Orlando Patriots, mugs, t-shirts, all of your patriotic gear. We are in an election year, so we need to show the world that we support our candidates, especially President Trump. So get some gear at theorlandopatriot.com and you'll get 30% off. Thank you for your support. It means the world to me. I'll see you there. Friends, here we are with 
the cringest video thus far of 2024. Actually, maybe I'm wrong. I think it might have been the Super Bowl ad that Joe Biden did. Not that I watched the Super Bowl, but I did um, see his cringe video there. So this is just, again, this just shows you the disrespect, the how low they think black people are in our mentalities. And this, it doesn't take much, but to go to some, some black people family's house and, 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 and talk about some, some things. And so therefore all the blacks is going to be on board. We, we's coming on board with Joe Biden. We's coming on board with Joe Biden and this nonsense, right? That's all it's going to take. It's just display this with some fried chicken and some Coke and some hot sauce. Maybe that's the hot sauce packages right there. Anyway, like I said, if other blacks are not triggered by this, I don't know. Tell me in the comments if you are black and you are triggered by this, like this doesn't settle well with you. Tell me in the comments how you feel, because for me, this is some bullshit. Now, how do I do this? Oh, what do we do? Okay. <laughs> Dude, play it. Are you guys playing hooky today? I think that one did. That's <laughs> less <laughs> awesome. This is Borla. Please excuse Carter for his absence today, but I needed his advice, so we had lunch together. Good. Coming over to the hockey. Here's your food, Mr. President. Okay. A pleasure serving you. <laughs> All right, man. This is a very unique day, very special day. Okay, so I'm gonna have this here linked in the video, y'all. I'm gonna have it linked so you can go and watch it yourself without me having my tamper tantrum through all of this. So right off the bat. He's mumbling something about um, signing this boy's, um, I don't know, whatever, it's a card. You can't even understand what he's saying, okay? So, again, we're going to take a really, really good look at Joe Biden and what he really looks like. I mean, this man is like a thousand, okay? But I digress. Until we got to eat dinner with Joe Biden. That's fire. Like, the president's coming. That's <laughs> fire. Yo. I have nothing against this family for sitting in and doing this. I have nothing against this family for sitting in and doing this. This is, this is what they do. But my God, do you have to be so cheesy about it? You see the dad, he like this. Yeah. Yeah. And the son's like, yeah, that's fire. And I get it. This is the president of the United States. Again, air quotes. So I get it. This is a big moment for them. A big moment for the family, a big moment, in, in, you know, in their community. I get that part, you know? But again, friend, are you selling out your whole, your community so you can have chicken with Joe Biden? I'm just saying. Thank you, sir. Keep your faith. Couldn't really believe that the president was coming to our house. Have... Oh. Oh. Welcome, Rob. We really appreciate you coming to us. Come on, man. This is a thing to live for you. Uh, this is all great. So... Oh. Well, there it is. The guy just said, thank you for coming to our house. And Joe Biden says, come on, man, this is a pain in the neck for you. Because he know that they have to sit, set all this up just to present Joe Biden in a good light. And look at him here. Look at this precious little boy. God, I hope he gets some common sense and not let his father lead him astray. Because, you know, these are good, strong little boys. And they really, what their dad is doing and putting this before them like this. It's it's not that great. I really I don't. Again, there's no woman in this picture. What we'd like to do is just come into our our space, our living area. All right. Well, Carter, you have you want to show President Biden uh, one of your pictures up here? You want to share? Go over this side and show President Biden one of your. All right. Let's look at the pictures again. I don't see no woman, no wife per se. He seems like he do a lot with his boys. This is really great. This is you know that this is what black men really need to do. But there's a woman, but she looks real young. I don't know if that's her, his wife, but she's not there. She would have been there. So maybe his sister or something. Um, 
But yeah, I don't, I don't really see a picture of a woman. And even if the mom was no longer in the picture, like she passed away or something, they would still have her picture here. You know what I'm saying? So I'm just kind of wondering about all that. The favorite pictures on the wall. Well, one of my favorites is this one right here. Well, we were in oh, Jamaica. Oh, cool. Oh, man, you got chicken fingers. That boy, that boy started to tell his story. He was in Jamaica on horses. And Joe Biden wouldn't even let the little boy speak his story about his experience. Can't wait to dig into the chicken. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I want Look at this. Making sure I had the hamburger. So tell me Make what sure you guys, I had my hamburger. What you doing these days? So you ain't eating chicken? Talking. You only Talking letting the talk. black folks eat the chicken? You eating your hamburger? Folks. I'm playing AAU basketball right now. Are you really? You go to your guard? Yes, sir. Now, what grade are you in? Seventh grade. Seventh grade. Right now, I'm just basketball, playing guard on the JV team for my school. All right, about in school. How y'all doing in school? You should tell the president. Tell the president. Tell the president how you doing in the school. Tell him. I mean, I, I really, I have nothing against this guy, but I really think that this is a, a, a terrible setup for your kids, especially because of these policies that's really um, hindering black people, them also. Like, you know, I'm like I'm, I'm triggered. About the school. Favorite thing about it is the business academy I'm in. We get to like travel, so we've been to like NC State, uh, Wake Tech, and we. Look at Joe Biden's face. I just broke it. Stopped. Look at his face. Look at this man. Look at his oh. You, I, I can't believe it. You're really doing that good, really. No. Oh. Gosh. Me. Yeah, we went to this small dry cleaning business, and it's just, it's cool, it's a great experience. I'm impressed. Is that a new program at the school? Yes, sir, it is. It just started a couple of years ago. I love the shots that they take about them, you know, getting into the food. This is also, I'm guessing, a commercial for the restaurant, I'm guessing, you know, to make sure y'all go support your, your local, um, Chicken place. Because they're taking a great shots of the food. So what got you interested in teaching administration? I'm sorry, I, I grew up in a rural South Carolina. My grandfather was very influential in showing me and teaching me that it would be good for an African-American male to be a teacher so that I could have influence, positive impact on the youth that we would be supporting in schools. And I started teaching in elementary school and uh, then became an assistant principal and then principal here in, in Raleigh. Are you available? Always. Okay. To the people that you're supposed to be with? Yes, sir. Okay. All right. That's what's most important. I understand you're interested in something I got involved in mental health. Yeah. Tell me how I got interested in that. I think I struggled with mental health earlier this year uh, when I got hurt. I went to um, a therapist. I had a therapist. I think it helps. You know, people may make jokes about it, but I think you should just, if you struggle with it, you should try it out. There's no, there's nothing different than breaking your arm and having a mental health problem. Wait a minute. There's nothing. So this boy had some sort of accident. I'm guessing he broke his arm. So you broke your arm, you probably couldn't go to school, you're depressed, you're in pain probably, and so, yeah, you're going to have some, you're going to be upset about that. But now they call it, it's oh, it's mental health. So he broke his arm, he had an accident, all of a sudden now he, he's struggling with mental health. Yeah, you're going to be depressed about it. Yeah, sure. You're not going to feel good about it. Sure. You, you can't hang out with your friends, you can't do this, you can't do that. You know, you, 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 if you're broken arm, you got to wear a cast. I mean, it's, it's uncomfortable. So, uh, so now they tie that in. Yeah, I, I'm struggling with mental health because I, I, I had an accident. I'm struggling with mental health earlier. Ugh. And the father's just sitting there taking it up. Thanks for courage. Generally, I'm really proud of you. It's uh, really amazing. I want y'all to see what, what, what we're looking at here. So throughout this video, they are dropping certain issues, you know, 
and they're going to address it here. So mental health was one. The student loans is going to be another one. And um, I can't remember what else is in there. But again, this is all catering to blacks or they, they, they're they catering to certain people. Again, this here mental health bit. Oh, we need mental health. We need to, to, you know, the blacks are struggling with mental health. We've got to fix this. We've got to give them, you know, free health care for all. We've got to address all. Yeah. And then, and, and so on. So this is how they're laying down the gems. As again, a dad working with two sons, supporting two sons, taking care of two sons, the student loan was just something that was just an albatross and trying to take and when that erasure happened uh it was such a tremendous relief for the for the home i can't explain uh how much of a positive impact that it has had upon me but also with their future how much was it forgiven 125 thousand sir it's a life changer it was a life changer a complete game changer for my life now and then for them moving forward because i am able to do things differently for them so thank you for that I tried to work. So you see what I'm saying here, right? So here he is thanking his Lord and Savior, Joe Biden, for erasing his debt that he took on $125,000 in education. So I'm just kind of curious, friend, why is it that you're not saying to Joe Biden, you know, we need to, you know, figure out how to get these schools to lower their prices. So these two boys of mine will be able to have a better shot than I did. They, they won't end up in debt like I did for $125,000 where they won't have to pay so much. What are you doing to deal with the schools that's charging, overcharging for these useless degrees that they are giving to people, you know, so some of these useless um, degrees, you know, for $125,000, you just student loan debt that you had. I'm not saying anything bad, but I'm just saying that he don't seem like he's, he's doing all that for spending $125,000. Um, you know, he's got a humble little house, which is fine. But, you know, I'm just saying $125,000, that's a lot of money just on your school bills. I got all student debt. And the Republican I Party just went nuts. The I very conservative Supreme Court tried to wipe out all student debt. And the Republican Party went nuts. The very conservative Supreme Court that my predecessor reported and bragged about ruled against that I couldn't do it. I couldn't. So I found other ways to do it. I found ways in which there were student loan programs that were had forgiveness written in if you volunteered, you, you know, the you know, public service. And so I started pushing really hard. It's a simple thing for me. And what would you guys think? Before we move on. So he's saying he worked really hard to, to get the student debt uh, across the board, but he couldn't get it all done because of the Republicans. The Republicans stood in the way. The Republicans stood in the way. But I'm glad you were able to get yourself $125,000 um, off your back. But it's the Republicans. And again, that's what they're, they're saying to, to, to the black people. You know, we're here for you. We're doing for you. We're trying to do for you. But it's the Republicans who, who's your enemy. It's the Republicans who kept me from erasing all of student debt. Now he wants to turn to the kids and see what they have to say. But I, I know this has nothing to do with it. But being that he worked so hard to do such a thing in the uh, for, for, for student debt forgiveness, again, for people who went to school to get an education and they couldn't afford it and they got loans. And I've done it, too. I've done it, too. And um, and got loans and then you couldn't pay it back. And now here you are. And now student forgiveness debt. So. Um, you know, I want to see how he, he, he moves on with. Everybody deserved a chance. Yeah. Like what inspired you to become the president of the U S well, my mom and dad thought you, you had an obligation, not you didn't have to run for office, but you had an obligation to change things that you, that you saw that you thought was unfair. It always angered me like I've been angered you guys when you see someone being picked on. Yeah. 
see something being made fun of. But I didn't, I love reading these biographies of me now. Why well, knew when he was in high school, he was going to be president. I had no idea <laughs> when I see things that were just seem so unfair. I find myself getting involved. What did you learn most about volunteering at the church? Think about it. So, so you just got to be a good example, a good role model at all times. At all times. OK. I want the boys to be hardworking, to persevere, understand that they're going to be challenges that they're going to face. And they you know, have to be strong. And we really want to be accountable for the things that we say, accountable for the things that we do. I'm working with little kids like elementary school, kindergarten, so I just have to make sure I was doing the right thing, try to have them follow my lead, you know? I wonder where you get that from. <laughs> <laughs> she turned to 16, man. What are you looking forward to being 16 years old? Driving. Driving? Okay. What you going to drive? Tessie. <laughs> <It's> Tesla. <laughs>
I'm speechless. I'm super proud. Right, uh, did a great job in just being your authentic self. It just happened to be 46. Thank you so much, sir. <laughs> it's crazy. You was just how to be. That's an experience of a lifetime. Lunch with the press. Lunch with the press. All right, let's go. We back inside. I'm freezing. We back inside. Yeah. Seen that? Heard that? Good. These people really, really think that black people just don't have any common sense. That if you present us with some fried chicken and you present us with a woke president, well, so-called president, that this is all it's going to take to claim the black vote. We're going to forget that this economy is bad. We're going to forget that you're trying to get children to cut off their body parts. We're going to forget that you're doing all of these things to make the lives of black people even worse. The open border, right? Pouring in the illegals to take over the jobs, to take over the spaces, to take over the schools. You think, you, you, you think that this is all it's going to take? And shame on the people who would actually go out there and vote for Joe Biden based on all of this. Based on this here pandering commercial. I've never seen anything more cringe in my life. He's sitting there and the people just eating it up. I mean, I really, I'm not the kids, you know, but it's the dad. I'm just like, come on, man. Come on, man. Really? Oh, anyway, y'all, I'm, I'm, like I say, I'm triggered. <laughs> I gotta go. I'm moving on. Thank you for watching, sharing, and subscribing. And um, I, I will have this video linked in the box for you this way, because I know that it was a little bit choppy. Uh, the recording was choppy, so um, I couldn't really help that. There's Rocky back there. Rocky, didn't I just put you away? <sighs> anyway, so... Thank you guys again for liking, sharing, and subscribing. And I will see you in another video. God bless you. God keep you. And I'm going to pray for that man and his boys. I really will. I really will lift them up in prayer because that man, he's doing a great job with his sons. But <laughs> look at this dog. He's doing a great job with his sons. But I think they need more Jesus. They need more Jesus if this is what they're doing. If they're out here pandering like this for Joe Biden, they need more Jesus. I am triggered. I'm triggered. Joe Biden done triggered me with some ch chicken. He done triggered me. I'm triggered. I'm triggered.